In this video we're going to look at arc length. Here if you're on a sector, and obviously there's the centre, you've got the two radii, and you've got the arc around the outside. Remember an arc is part of the circumference. So the circumference of a circle is pi times diameter, or pi d. Um, some people obviously use, instead of pi d, use 2 pi r. Okay, so circumference of a circle is pi times diameter, or 2 pi r. To work out the, uh, the arc length, what you're going to do is you're going to work out the whole circumference of a circle. Then you're going to divide it by 360. That would tell you 1 360th of the circumference. And then times by the angle you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to do arc length equals pi times diameter, pi d, or 2 pi r. And then you're going to times uh, divide that by 360 to find one uh, degree worth of the arc, and then times that by vita. Another way of writing that would be pi d times by vita over 360. Obviously, vita over 360 would be with the proportion of the whole circle, and then you times that by the circumference. Okay. Uh, one final way of writing that: instead of using pi times diameter, you could also use this version, which would be 2 pi r times vita over 360. So just to recap, you work out the circumference of the whole circle, you divide it by 360, and then times by the angle you want, and then that would tell you the arc length. So for instance, if this was 4 centimeters, and this was 30 degrees, to find this arc length, you would do pi times diameter, so the diameter would be the whole way across the circle. So you do pi times 8, and then you would divide that by 360, and then times by 30. Let's look at a typical example. Okay, so here's a typical question. It says calculate the arc length AB. Okay, so we've got the sector OAB, and the arc length would be here, A to B. Okay, uh, so the arc length, the formula is pi times the diameter, times by vita divided by 360, or 2 pi r times vita over 360. So, if you had the whole circle here, the whole circle, the diameter would be 16. So it's going to be equal to pi times 16, times by vita, which is 45 degrees, over 360. And then simply you can just type that into your calculator. So you would do shift pi times 16 times by 45 over, remember that's the fraction button. Uh, some people may have the calculator in math, uh, maths mode, so then you would need to um, sort of go down to the denominator and type it in over 360. And then press equals, so the arc length of AB is 6.28318530. Okay, uh, so that's the arc length, so the arc length would be. 6.283, I'm just going to write it equal to 6.282 um, centimeters to two decimal places. Okay, uh, so literally all you're doing is pi times the diameter divided by 360 and times by 45. Um, obviously, the order you do in your calculator you know, can vary and then you can work it out. I could have done 2 times pi times 8 instead of doing pi times 16. If the question asked me for the perimeter, so instead of saying the arc length, it said calculate the perimeter of the sector, what you would then do is you would add on to this. So you would have this distance from A to B here to here uh, was equal to 6.28. You'd also have the two radiuses of 8 and 8, and you'd add those up to find the perimeter of the sector. In this question, I just worked out the arc length, A to B, this part of the circumference, or this part, uh, curved bit. But if it did ask you for the perimeter, you'd add up the three sides. Okay, so here's another question. And the question is asked to calculate the um, arc length, or the minor arc, PQ. Okay, the length of minor arc, PQ. So that's from here to here. So again, we're going to use the formula, which is um, pi times diameter, pi d, times vita over 360. Again, you can use 2 pi r here instead. So, pi times diameter, pi times, well, the diameter of the circle or would be 24, times by vita, which is times by 40, over 360. So again, you can just type that into your calculator. I will show you in the next example how to do it on a non-calculator question. So you can just type that into your calculator. So you're going to get um, shift pi 
times 24 times by 40 over 360. And you press equals and you get that the arc length is equal to 8.37758. Let's round it to 3.38 centimeters to two decimal places to two decimal places. Okay, let's have a look at now a typical question, which is a non-calculator question. Okay, so the diagram shows an arc um, AB of a circle, center O. So you can see there's the center of the circle. You've got your arc AB going around from here to here, and then so that's your sector uh, with your center of the circle, uh, center of your circle, and your arc. It says triangle OAB. So OAB is equilateral. So this is an equilateral triangle. So if it's an equilateral triangle, this angle here is sixty degrees. This angle sixty. This angle sixty. It would also mean that all the sides here are eight centimeters long. It says calculate the length of AB in terms of the uh, in terms of pi. So it wants to work out the length of this arc. Okay. Well, let's look at it. Well, here you've got a sector. So you've got your sector. I'm just going to draw it out to the side. You've got a sector, and the two radiuses or the radii, the two radii, are eight centimeters, and your angle at the top is sixty degrees. So it's just like before. So we just need to find the arc length of this. So remember, the arc length, arc length equals pi dam times diameter times by theta divided by 360. Now remember this is a non-calculator question so pi times the diameter with the diameter of this circle so if you had this whole circle or this whole circle the diameter would be 16 so pi times 16 or 16 pi and you're going to times that by vita well vita is 60 degrees over 360. Now because it's a non-calculator question you're going to have to simplify this fraction and see if you can work out this fraction of this number. Okay, so cancelling down this fraction, you get 16 pi times by uh, to divide by 10 first of all, 6 by uh, 36. Divide both of these by 6, so you get 16 pi times 1 sixth. Obviously, just cancelling this fraction down. So we've got, let me just write that again. We've got 16 pi times 1 sixth, so we just need to find out 1 sixth of. Um, one sixth of sixteen. So let's uh, just write this as a fraction. Remember, if you want to do sixteen times one sixth, you can just times the numerators together and the denominators together. So you'd get sixteen sixths. So you've got sixteen sixths pi. Because this is a non-calculated question, you can just cancel down this fraction. So sixteen six would be the same as eight, um, eight thirds pi. That's it. Eight thirds pi. I suppose, strictly speaking, because it's centimeters in the question, you should just write centimeters here. So that's it. So the length of the arc is 8 thirds pi. So this question, all you do is you use the same formula, you put in the diameter, you work out that um, the circumference of the whole circle would be 16, uh, 16 pi. Uh, it's a sixth of a circle, so you're just going to divide 16 uh, pi by 6, so that'll be 16, 16 sixths pi, and just cancel that down to 8 thirds pi. And that's it.